Welcome back, welcome back. And in this one, we're going to be looking at uh, search engine optimization. Please give a like, give a subscribe. Let's keep the channel growing. Thank you. The headings we have under this one are indexing, so using meta tags, use of keywords, importance of updates, limit crawling. So the first thing we want to do is to know what SEO is and what its purpose is. So what is SEO and state its purpose? Then you reference it. So this is going to be where you Google the term SEO, what is SEO, what is its purpose, read it, understand it, rewrite it, and make sure you reference it, right? You're going to need to make use of some tools, and these websites, these tools are called SEO analyzers. They're free to use for a short time anyway. I'm going to try and put the links in the description of the few that I've listed here. But the first thing we need to look at is indexing. What is indexing? So what is indexing? Uh, define it and state its purpose and reference it. So just like before, just like every other thing I've seen, read it, understand it, rewrite it, and reference it. So you can check if a website has been indexed. This is a link I've used here, so I'm going to open this website. Here's the website I'll put in the link in the description. Now, I'm not going to go through this entire thing, but you need to read through it and look at the steps needed to that you need to follow to see if your website has been indexed. Indexing is just an easy way for you to search and find things. If something has been indexed, it's easier for you to find it. It should be faster as well. So please, please, please look in the description and the name of the website is gonna be Search Candy. Look at what it takes for you to figure out if a website has or has not been indexed. Whatever your results are, it would be a good idea to screenshot it to show that this website has been indexed seen in the screenshot below, or it has not been indexed, seen in the screenshot below. Next, we have updates. So what are updates in regard or regarding websites? The level of important for your website, Amazon BBC Sports probably need daily updates because they're put constantly putting in information on the website versus BBC Bite Size, which may have updates once every year or once every term, once every half term when a new course or new information for a course gets added. So updates. Now, um, I think I went on to CEX earlier, so that's a computer exchange shop in London, or in the UK, let's say. When I scroll all the way down, typically, scroll down, you'll see stuff like this down here, where it says all content copyright 1999 to 2022. So this tells me that this website was updated with some content somewhere in 2022. Not all websites will say this. The big popular ones like Amazon, eBay, CEX like this, JD Sports, so on and so forth. Those will all have been updated at some point in 2022. Smaller, more obscure websites might not have been updated in a year or two, especially if they're not selling things. If they're selling things, they typically tend to update it more frequently because they have to post new items on the website. So let's go back to this. The next thing you want to ask is when was the website last updated? There are ways for you to check this. And here's a screenshot of what I just explained again. Some websites have this at the bottom of the web page. And this is the example I got from IGN. So IGN started in 2003 and it was last updated in 2021. This should probably be changed because I'm sure they've put stuff on the website since then. But in any case, this is how you show when your website was last updated. You should also definitely mention the importance of your website being updated. Not every website needs to be updated constantly, right? Some websites, they need to be updated daily, weekly, monthly, some yearly, some never. You might just create a website to try and sell something like a house, put it up, and then once it's sold, you just leave it there. You never check it again. So BBC News, for example, BBC Sports, those need to be updated every single hour of every single day. 